Representative Matt Shea has been accused of engaging in domestic terrorism, among a number of other troubling allegations. This report that was compiled by the Washington State House of Representatives themselves, so kind of an in-house report, pardon the pun. That report has been forwarded to the FBI as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office. We will have to wait and see uh, what, if any, charges will come about from this investigation, but it's definitely very um, troubling. Some of the details that were in this 108-page report was that um, Representative Shea participated and actually, uh, along with Eamon Bundy, helped plan the armed uh, militia takeover of the wildlife refuge in Oregon in 2016. So that was one instance where he participated in, you know, a armed conflict against the U.S. government. A second one was had to do with the Bundys and their ranch in 2014. Representative Shea participated in that armed uh, militia takeover, <coughs> or I should say that armed uh, militia conflict. And then, so those are just two examples. There's also other ones uh, in the report. And I got this from salon.com. Uh, and so the Washington State Republican Party the um, has been pretty quick to condemn Shea and his actions. They've stripped him of any committee membership. He's not in the Republican caucus anymore. I guess they even kicked him out of his office. The Washington State uh, Minority House Leader uh, J.T. Wilcox has asked that Shea, um, or yeah, Shea asked that Shea uh, will re would resign from his, uh, you know, post as representative. So we'll see if that happens. But for now, Shea has said that he won't resign, <clears throat> and it's not just um, you know other Republican leaders. The Spokane County Sheriff is saying that. He thinks, you know, Shea should be charged with domestic terrorism charges, among other things. He mentioned, um, you know, treason, which I guess, you know, kind of makes sense. He's advocating for the overthrow of the, you know, U.S. government. <clears throat> so on Facebook, um, Shea has said, has compared to the, his, the investigation into him as, you know, a sham, just like the Trump impeachment and... He's also went on the uh, Infowars platform before, you know, Infowars, very synonymous with Alex Jones and some kind of very um, crackpot ideas in some ways. Um, so he went on there recently and called the investigation against him, quote, a Marxist smear campaign. Um, and then <laughs> so in his uh, what? You, I guess you could call his defense for, for this, um, you know, this ridiculousness, or at least part of it is he's saying he hasn't had a chance to give his side of the story. You know, he hasn't been able to let his voice be heard on these matters, on these allegations, accusations against him. But uh, the report clearly demonstrates that they you know try to interview him multiple times to indeed get his side of the story so it, you know it uh, could be a fair proceeding as possible or investigation as possible against him but he declined at every turn and the investigators even at one point were just calling him Shay and his attorney not even getting you know a phone call back so throughout the whole investigation he basically you know stonewalled the investigators wouldn't wouldn't engage at all, which obviously, you know, if you have nothing to hide or to be ashamed of or to fear legal consequences of, then you would be, you know, engaging with this investigation. And it's like, you know, this investigation doesn't even have any type of legal standing or consequence. So why would you not want to let your voice be heard when you're being, um, you know, accused of doing some really, you know, pretty serious and drastic uh, and violent crimes um, you know so why would you not want your voice to be heard in that <clears throat> instance and he is um, you know condoned uh, violence he said that you know there should basically be a Christian revolution in the United States that would overthrow our secular government and install basically a Christian theocracy and <clears throat> in that transition 
you know, or I should say in that overthrow of our current government, he advocated for um, all non-Christian men to be killed. So <clears throat> again, this is just another example really of how, um, you know, just white uh, conservative kind of extremist uh, groups and, you know, individuals really pose, you know, the biggest threat you know, domestically to people in the United States because of the, you know, very serious consequences of when they act out these, um, you know, very troubling and uh, horrible ideologies. And this is very, this was a very extensive report by all accounts, like I said, 108 pages. So, you know, pretty lengthy document right there. It also included 34 witnesses and over, I believe, was something like 100,000 um, elect electronic communications were included into the investigation, um, you know, so it's, <clears throat> we will have to wait and see if, you know, he ends up being charged by the U.S. Attorney's Office. I mean, the evidence seems pretty clear and pretty damning, and, you know, he has to, like, messed up pretty bad for the Republican Party to basically, you know, disown him at this point and saying that he should, you know, resign. And then, you know, the Spokane attorney, the county where um, he's a representative from, is also saying that, you know, this guy should be facing some domestic terrorism charges. So you have the Republicans as well as law enforcement in your own county coming out against you. It's, you know, not not looking too good for Matt Shea at this point, but we have to wait and see when and if those charges come out and, and what they are. But I mean, from everything that I've seen and heard about these allegations, I don't see how he couldn't be charged with, you know, multiple counts of, you know, domestic terrorism as well as potentially treason. I mean, he was calling for the violent overthrow of the you know, U.S. government and to install a Christian, like, theocracy. If that's not, like, seditious, if that's not treasonous, I don't really know, like, what is. And, you know, condoning violence and, you know, radicalizing others with this nonsense. It's it's pretty troubling. And he's been elected multiple times. I think he was first elected to that um, rep position, Washington State rep position in, like, 2008 or something. So, I mean... Whew, we'll see what comes from this, but, and this is just particularly disturbing from my perspective because I also live in Washington State. The, um, to get to his district would, you know, be like a three or three and a half hour drive, so not super far away. And it's like, wow, even in Washington State, there's still some really, um, right wing, um, <laughs> Christian fundamentalist, uh, extremist people, uh, preaching some very uh, troubling and uh, dangerous, uh, you know, rhetoric and uh, ideology. So we'll see what happens. Uh, leave your comments in the section down below about um, Matt Shea and, these, and him being accused of, you know, being a domestic terrorist. And once I help me reach 50 subs, uh, once I do, I will take a polar plunge in a local river. And it's currently winter here in the Pacific Northwest, so it'd be quite chilly, and I would document it and then share it with y'all. Peace. Much love.